What's up everybody, Cole with Coldminer Customs here. Uh, I've noticed a lot of issues with the M1 laser head actually falling out. I've actually had this issue myself, but I know that it's becoming more and more common as these machines uh, get a little bit of uh, use to them uh, of several hours of engraving and debris and soot building up. But hopefully uh, this video will help you and hopefully it's a, it's a fix for you. Um, so. If you can, help support the channel, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. This is going to be for the common laser head failure. If your laser head keeps dropping um, downwards, and it won't retract back up. This is going to be um, the common fix for it. So once you get your bottom plate out, <clears throat> you're going to get your uh, pull your laser to about this position. Take the four screws out that are located on the side of your uh, laser box. There's two more on this side, and they look like this. So once you get those out, uh, you're going to lift the top cover off. And then you're going to take these three screws out right here. Once you get those three screws out, you're going to take your fan, lift up on it, actually just move it out of the way. So on this sensor board, typically what causes uh, the m most issues is that you have this sensor and then you have a sensor on the bottom. Uh, typically this sensor doesn't get as dirty as the one on the bottom and that's the one, the one on the bottom is one that actually causes this issue the most. You're going to take the sensor board, pull up this way, and be very careful. There's a ribbon wire here, and then there's a ribbon wire on the back side. Um, you have to gently pull this out because you don't want to damage that ribbon wire. Typically, you just got to keep lifting up and gently start pulling it, and it will come out, but do not force it. And if you look real close, that's the second sensor. I was talking about you can see how much more dirty it is compared to this one and that's the one that usually causes this issue the most and if you also look down in here you can see how much debris gets built up we're actually going to clean all this as well extol recommends a q-tip for this um, go off their recommendations but i have found that this does not actually get it clean enough um, because sometimes putting it back together you'll still run into the issue so i use this uh, a small toothbrush, a soft bristle, um, but what you've got to look out for and make sure you get really clean. So if you look in this U-shaped sensor, there's grooves in there. What happens is those grooves actually build up with soot and debris, and if you do not get all of that out of those grooves, you'll still have the malfunction and the issue. So we've got it scrubbed. The toothbrush looks a lot better. Um, now, what I did with stuff that I could reach, I used the toothbrush and stuff that I can't reach, compressed air, and use this to uh, finish getting the rest of the soot and stuff out of the places that it's really hard to reach. But on the ribbon wire, um, I tried to clean that as best I could. Looks like there's some staining maybe for some from some grease and the, the soot just building up. But overall, just remember to get into those grooves and get those things cleaned. Be careful with your ribbon wires. All right, once you get the board back in, um, just remember, be very gentle with the ribbon wires. And if you have to use a Q-tip to help guide the ribbon wire back into the groove, that it comes out of, you know, use a Q-tip. Um, I wouldn't use a, um, a screwdriver with a metal and stuff. But also remember, <clears throat> and we're gonna clean this fan here in just a second. There's a right way and a wrong way to put this fan in. Uh, just remember, I know on mine, that the sticker goes down. Because if you do put the fan in wrong, uh, it will not um, circulate correctly. And what I use to clean the fan with is the Q-tip or the uh, toothbrush, just whichever one works the best, uh, depending on how much uh, buildup you have on, on there. 
All right, once you get the three fan screws in, you put your four screws in that hold the top plate on, and then that's it. Plug it in. Hopefully this works for you. Um, if it does, um, great. Um, if it does not work, sometimes you have to have that uh, the, the sensor board replaced, and you just have to reach out to Xtool and tell them your issues, tell them how you went through this process, um, and it's still not working and they may have to end up sending you a uh, new sensor board. Also too, if your laser head does completely fall out, um, there is a reset that you will have to do through the computer. It's a program that you gotta download and uh, it walks you through it. Xtool's got a good tutorial on it. Walks you through it and it will actually help you reset your laser and actually set it back up into the laser head if it does fall completely out. Uh, but like I said again, I hope this video was helpful. And have a great day.